Hi, my name is Altru. I'm an intern at UV Advocate and I'm going to speak on the topic Uniform Civil Code. So on July 7, 2021, Justice Pratibha I am saying while giving a judgment in the case uh, Shat Prakash Meena versus Alka Meena said that the Uniform Civil Code should not remain a mere hope. Uh, she further said that due to the traditional barriers of the society slowly dissipating, uh, the Indian youth need not struggle due to conflicting uh, uh, personal laws of different religion, especially the ones regarding marriage. Now, this is not the first time the judiciary has emphasized on the uh, need of the Uniform Civil Court. In the famous Shabano case of 1985, the Supreme Court uh, said that the hope expressed in Article 44 of the Constitution uh, should not, ought not to remain a mere hope. So it's almost the same thing that the Uni uh, Supreme Court said in that ruling. So what is the Uniform Civil Code? Uniform Civil Code is a proposal uh, to formulate and implement secular personal laws, uh, meaning uh, a single set of personal laws uh, that applies on all citizens equally, regardless of their religion. Now, the personal laws are actually the laws that uh, cover subjects like uh, marriage, divorce, inheritance, adoption, maintenance, and so on. So the person laws are actually a subject under the concurrent list and uh, not only the union but also the states can make laws on it and person laws in the part four of the constitution under directed principles of state policy article 44 states that the state shall endeavor to secure for all its citizens a uniform civil code throughout the territory of india now, if Uniform Civil Code is so important, why isn't it a part of the fundamental rights? Now, there was a division on the issue of putting the Uniform Civil Code in the fundamental rights chapter. The matter was settled by a vote, and by a majority of five is to four, the Fundamental Rights Subcommittee, headed by Sadar Vallabhai Patel, held that the provision was outside the scope of the fundamental rights. And therefore, the Uniform Civil Code was not uh, a part of the fundamental rights as it was less important than the freedom of religion expressed in Article 25 of the Constitution, 1955 and 1956, after independence, the Indian government passed four Hindu court bills, and, uh, and they are the Hindu Marriage Act the Hindu Succession Act, the Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act, and the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act. Now, uh, these uh, court bills at first received widespread criticisms. However, the, these led to the modernization of the Hindu personal laws. But uh, the government under Jawaharlal Nehru and uh, even the Later leaderships and political parties that came to power did not attempt to modernize the person laws of the minorities. Now, in a democratic and secular country like India, the Uniform Civil Code is very much needed. The Uniform Civil Code has some merits uh, or advantages, like it provides equal status to all, it, uh, it pro promotes gender equality. It simplifies complex laws, it ensures speedy, uh, speedy justice, and uh, it helps in national integration. Now, in a modern and secular democratic country like ours, the people uh, need, the citizens of a country need a common civil and personal law. So now, if you see the personal laws, uh, of all, almost all the religions are very discriminated, uh, discriminated towards women. Uh, uh, the civil, uniform civil code will bring uh, both men and women at par. Uh, you see, in matters of succession and inheritance, uh, the male are given a much more preference. So the uniform civil code will provide the much needed protection and will uh, to women and will promote gender equality. 
now due to pers uh, separate personal laws of different religions uh, it actually complicates things so if a uniform civil code is implemented there will only exist a single set of personal laws and so legal proceedings will get easier uh, where we had to we have to study the hindu uh, personal laws and the muslim personal laws uh, separately and the personal laws are different other different religions separately if the uniform civil code is implemented then uh, there will be only a single set of personal laws that will be followed by by all the courts in the country and all the judgments will be based on those single set of personal laws so this will also help to settle disputes in courts regarding marriage inheritance succession and divorce very easily it will be a speedy just justice will be delivered it will be much easier to settle cases uh, and uh, obviously uniform civil code is important for national integration uh, because it will limit the scope of politicization of issues of discrimination on the basis of caste or religion it uh, it will provide uh, protection to the minorities now dr b r ambedkar uh, supported the uniform civil code uh, because he held that and he held that the uniform civil code is very much important because it provides protection to the women and the minority so it's very important the uniform civil code is needed there's no doubt about that but uh, the the question is that are as a, are we as a country ready for it now what are the demerits of uniform civil code uniform civil code has a lot of merits but it has also some very important disadvantages because uh, in, uh, india is a very diverse country so it's not practically possible to implement uh, a, pers- a single set of personal laws that easily now the minorities will view uh, the uniform civil code as an encroachment on their religious freedom that is uh, ensured by article 25 of the constitution so the many minority communities will, will not willingly give up their personal laws and uh, uh, abide by the uniform civil code so that's why it is a very tough task to implement the uniform civil code because it's a very sensitive matter uh so it's a very sensitive matter so it's not very easy to implement it for implement implementing it uh, a very gradual process has to be taken the judiciary the executive the uh, legislature and all the other organs in the democracy have to function uh, in a united manner and properly to implement the uniform civil code now the major issue with the uniform civil code is that uh, many perceive it as a civil code for of the majority that is that means that uh, hindu personal laws will apply for all that's not the case if uniform civil code is implemented it actually means a secular set of personal laws so mm, not only uh, will uh, the muslim personal laws not function but also the hindu personal laws will also not function so uh, uh, laws like the hindu united family will cease to be uh, function and the main issue with the uniform civil code is that not only the majority population but also the minority population perceive it as a uh, uni- uh, majority civil code meaning uh, that the unif- uh, hindu personal laws will apply to all but that's not the case uh, uh, because if uniform civil code is implemented it's a secular set of personal laws so not only will uh, hindu uh, personal laws cease to function but also personal laws of every single religion religious community will uh, cease to function the bjp in its manifest of 2014 and 
mentioned three major aims that it uh, wants to achieve. The first one is the Ram. It wants to settle the Ram Mandir issue. The second is the uh, scrapping of uh, Article 370. And the third one was implementing uniform civil code. Now, it has not, it has actually succeeded in, a, in its first two uh, aims, but it has not been able to achieve its goal of implementing the uniform civil code. In 2016, the Law Commission of India said in its report that the uniform civil code is neither necessary nor desirable at this stage. The which is uh, the, which raises the question that at this particular time is the uniform civil code that important so there's no doubt that the uniform civil code is needed but uh, if we uh, talk about the state of affairs in our country and the uh, innumerable problems that we have for example the economic problems uh, that we are facing the administrative problems that exist in our country. I think we should address those problems first and then uh, discuss about uh, the Uniform Civil Code. And we should uh, also keep in mind that implementing the Uniform Civil Code is will not be a piece of cake. So uh, because um, mere uh, normative changes will not bring about a social, uh, social reform. For example, if you look at the Veto Remarriage Act, it was implemented in 1956, and yet uh, the state of uh, Indian widows is not that good. So we have to think about it very carefully when we implement the UCC, and we have to uh, it will be a very slow and gradual process if we have to successfully implement the Uniform Civil Code. Thank you.